Aloha and welcome to Hawaii Goes Fishing. Now, Hawaii is a culturally diverse place and that's reflected in our fishing styles as well. It's definitely not a one size fits all and that includes the size of the fish we catch. Walter Kuma grew up going fishing and he's going to teach us what his parents taught him. Margot gets a quick lesson on how to fillet a striped marlin and a group of anglers give a friend a great first time experience. Dave Lancaster gets a close look at a tiny underwater video camera. Champion spear fisher Kimmy Warner shows a convenient way to steam kumu. And Mark Kimura closes a few gaps in our knowledge about spark plugs. So stick around because when the sun goes down, the lights are going on and the fish are coming up. Well after sundown, Walter Kuma and his friend Joe are on their way out long after everyone has gone home from a day of fishing. Just think red, Joe. Don't think yellow. Good idea. Don't want yellow. Oh, you fast, eh? You didn't give the captain chance. He said drop already. Nah, just kidding. We get all night. God. <laughs> oh, I lost a lead. Already? And I gotta throw back this one. This is actually on pretty good drift, bro. So when you see midwater fish, that's the Akuli swimming around. Mostly your Akuli or your Veo Veo. And then the bottom fish you'll see is going to end up being the, on the bottom is all the um, menpachi, tape, all the bottom fish kind of stuff. And what we want to see in the light is, um, oh, we could see them already, look, is all the little creatures come to the light. The shrimp, fish, idiko, um, crustaceans and crabs. And there's a whole bunch already, look at that. And as that will come to the boat, the akuli will start to swarm. And that's what they eat at night. The green makes a good light. It penetrates a lot farther in the, in the spectrum of color. And uh, so it, it attracts a lot more. And uh, the, the fish seems to, or at least the bait does, thinks it's pretty natural to them. So they come and you can see them all over. Look at that. All right, catch enough of that, we can dry them. We can make super. <laughs> Eventually when the, the akuli comes up, and, and concentrated onto your light when eating all the food around your boat. They're gonna start hitting the water. When they, when they start hitting the water and, and taking bait off the top, you can catch them with a bamboo pole. And what you wanna do then is uh, um, you wanna slap the water with your, with your fly to draw the attention to them and, and they'll just come up and one of them will grab it. And then you can hook like that as long as nobody bothers the school. Um, when I say nobody bothers the school is, you know, no predators show up, um, the current doesn't change, the wind doesn't shift, and, uh, and the other thing I've seen things change is somebody drops something in a boat. If a big loud noise in a boat, then a school would just take off, and it'll take another long time, you know, 20, 30 minutes before they come back up. And fishing for Akuli, a lot of people think that, uh, um, you know, it's a pretty easy stuff. And when they're biting, oh yes it is, it's pretty easy. Uh, as long as you have a bait in the water, you're gonna catch. But a lot of it is fishing the column of the water from top to bottom. So if you know where the fish are at, when you find them on a the sounder, all right, one of the most important things to remember, yeah, Joe, is no, no, I'm um, the kind. Don't fish deeper than that. And the reason is, is if one guy hooks one at 40 feet 
and another guy goes past that, then the school will follow that guy down. Eh? So now the school going up and down and hard to get them. If we, we know where they're hooking them at, we hook them at 40 feet. Everybody stay at 40 feet and hook them at 40 feet. And then the other thing is the drop. Eh? The drop is when you're going, when you're going to catch them. Slow on the bottom. You're playing stuff on the bottom. Small ones, though. Oh, that's <laughs> yellow. We're out of here. Go pick up and go move. I get bite. Hang on. You getting bite? Yep. On the bottom. Planning. Yep. What depth we at? 50. This is on Actually, the bottom, though. Actually, get plenty of fish down there. Let it soak a little while. Yeah. <laughs> They're yeah, getting heavier now. Okay. Works. Hey. That works. Hey, look at that. What they got in deadliest catch, the crab count. <laughs> Let's get them in party count. <laughs> so we tie uh, our leg to the bottom. We kind of cheat a little bit. Half our hooks are flies. I tie my own flies. These are just what I use. Um, but what we do is we tase them with a, lot of bait, with a little bit of bait. You don't have to do all the hooks with bait, just some. And if you don't want to use um, you know, your own flies, you don't have to tie. Go buy yourself some damashi. Damashi works well. One of them was, you know, the excess Lumaflex string? From where? J and E. It's all the excess from tying up flies or some other flies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just send them through the eye. Yeah, that works. The red one. You still getting bites? No, not yet. Slowing down. Are oh, you going to make me go through all this work in the moving fish? I'm pretty spoiled when I when I fish this. I don't get bites after a certain period. I'm moving a boat. Coming up next on Hawaii Goes Fishing, the fish finally start waking up.